So this app right here is called Sounding Board. It's a free AAC app. And it allows you to make your own boards based on your own voice and your own pictures. So here's a board I made for a student with the student's actual water bottle, the student's actual bag of chips, and the student's actual pretzel bag. And the great thing about using real photos is it's easier for kids who have significant communication issues to understand what the pictures represent because they're real photos of the real object versus if I were to take a picture of my own water bottle and put it in here, the student might not understand that this water bottle also represents their own. So when you take a picture of their own personal item, it helps them understand the symbol better. You can make these boards as simple or as complex as you want. This is a field of two, which is very simple. So you could do six, you could do eight, you could do 10. There are some pictures built into this app, but there aren't very many. So I would only use this if you're gonna use real pictures of objects. Up here, it says add board. So you're gonna click on that. Then you get to name your board. So let's say my student's initials are A, B and we're doing a snack board. So I'm going to type in snack. Then you get to take an image. You can take it from the symbols library, which is built into the app, your own photo library, or you can take a new picture. So let's just go to the symbols library and let's do food. So let's do this one. Then you could, if you wanted, record a message so have it say snack or whatever you want. Then you click on this arrow and it will bring you to add an image. So you touch it, you touch add image, then you pick from your own photo library. So I'm gonna do this one. Make sure you make the picture big so they can see it. Then you're gonna name your picture. So I'm gonna say water save. Now you get to record your message. Just remember when you push this button that it's going to start recording immediately. So you want to make sure you're on top of it and you're recording when it's quiet and you push the stop button right away. Water. So I pushed record, then I pushed stop. Water. So now you can hear my voice. I'll play it a little louder for you. Water. And then if you're done, then you just hit this button over here, the arrow, and you do the next one. Add image, photo library, banana. Oh, I didn't make it big enough. Let me try again. I'm going to make it bigger. Banana. Save. Banana. Banana. Next. So you just keep going. Now say I only want to have four pictures and I have this extra add image in here. If you just hit the next button, it will automatically get rid of this last one. So I only want these four and it's set up for a field of six, but that's okay. So make sure you don't hit the back button because then you're going to erase everything that you just did. So hit the next button. Then you can see that the board that I just created is right here. And now it's a field of four. Water, banana, orange, crackers. So now you can have your student, depending on their level, start with the field of two and then build up to see how they're capable of doing a larger field size. You can even do three pictures and then this area will be blank. And now I'm gonna show you something really cool that you can do to link these boards together. So what I did was I made an I want board, which is the main board you could have on your screen. And these can link to other things. So this one says I want to eat. This one is I want to play. This one is I want to go. I want to eat. So you can link this board to make it go to a whole other board with a bunch of foods on it. So let me show you how to do that. So you're going to go to edit boards. I want. Then you're going to go to next. Then click on that. Do edit. Then you can hit link message to another board. 
Then you're going to click the other board. So say we want to do the snack board. Then you're going to hit next. So now when you're done, see how it has that little arrow on it? Make sure that you hit this arrow, then turn edit boards off. Come on. So then when you click on this, I want to eat. Then it's going to bring you to the choice board. Water. Banana. You can teach your child to ask for certain things. So this will be the, the foods board. This one you can link to a bunch of toys. This one you can link to places if you want to go somewhere. So you can make folders for whatever you want. But probably the most frequent would be eating and playing. So you can make folders and link them together to any other boards that you've made. Okay, so now what I've done is I've linked up the I want to eat board to a snack board, and I've linked up the I want to play board to a play selection board. I want to eat. And it will open automatically. Orange. And you can go back. I want to play. Phone. Puzzle. You just pick whatever you Crystal want. Crystal blocks. So you can put whatever you want in here. And I would ask your speech language pathologist what field size your child's working on because sometimes if you do too many pictures, then your child might get confused. And this is an example of one of the cartoon images. I really don't like them. I would prefer that you use like real images. And if you can take pictures, just use the regular camera from the iPad and just take pictures of whatever you have in your house. This is one more thing I wanted to show you. Instead of using these cartoon images to represent these different activities, you could put for I want to go, you could put a picture of your car here or your driveway to represent going somewhere. For this one, I've changed the image now to me eating. So you could put your child eating in here to represent I want to eat and that makes the folder more concrete for the child. Over here, you could put a picture of your child playing so your child understands that. You can make a whole board for routines if you wanted to. It's time for, and then you can put it in here and then have a bunch of things. Bath, breakfast, blah, 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 blah. So just play around with it, and the more real images you can use, the better off you are.